it's uh it's soon. Oh it is? Yeah. Dude, dude, dude. Okay, so let's form a circle around this amazing gentleman right here. Yeah, hey, good morning, guys. My name is Joel Koppel. I am a mindset and personal development coach. Uh, I met Zune uh, about a week or so ago, and the rest is history. We're out here today training for his fundraising run to raise money and food to feed a million people. And you gotta start somewhere if you're gonna be doing a lot of running. We're up here practicing in San Ramon and Bishop Ranch. Gorgeous sunny day. And thanks for joining us, everybody. All right, now uh, just down the middle. <laughs> oh, I felt something pop. <laughs> and up. So, hey guys, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, this is my weekly Sunday run. And, you know, always, always bring your friends, bring your friends and family. Just have them come out, get more fit with you. Um, I would say like two months ago, I would be running this by myself, just trying to get fit, kind of build up to run 20 miles a day easy, so I can run across America for 150 days, right? And my goal is to help in America donate a million units to those they need. Um, and this is like a dream come true for me, because I, I took risks, man, like literally I went all in, I like, okay, what can I do to push this mission forward? So I, I take every rope I can, to move forward uh, and definitely how do you say it whenever you do something you gotta fully commit to see progress like i wanted to do this for the longest time but when i would make progress and, and i'm like i make some progress and i just slow down and just die right? so i see the blueprint now in the gameplay you have to just keep going even when like you got no one supporting you you gotta keep going even when it's like the hardest time those are the test days and it's amazing, like, once you pass that test day, the next test day will be bigger, but the next milestone is even bigger, right? So for me, it's like showing up every day, doing the best I can for all my clients, for all my people, and for all the people that support me. Um, well, Spencer, welcome to the gang. Um, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so all these amazing gentlemen here um, in my network, and like, I don't know, I'm super grateful, man. My heart is full, but, like, a few months ago, I was just running this by myself, making a video, you know, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, now I have like these people coming out, like different locations, just to support the campaign. And for them, it's like, you know, I would say this is like more of like a support team, I would say. Because you want to surround yourself with people that elevate and want to move forward and just have that same mindset. Because it's going to take you further up there, to the journey where you're going. And I'm super thankful for everybody being here. Um, you guys, so I usually film all of them, like all, all the content. Um, my cousin helps me too, but he's a pleasure. You know, he has a pleasure to right now. But uh, all I ask is, if you have something you want to say, say it on the camera. That way, uh, it goes on YouTube and it becomes content to motivate somebody else. You never know who's watching. Um, I actually looked at the top and I was like, damn man, I got like a couple hundred views on each video. Who like, the hell is watching? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's helping people and they're leaving comments and stuff. I'm like, okay, you have stalkers. I, I do have stalkers. <laughs> it's pretty great. Um, but yeah, man, I was like, this is crazy. And really, every post I post on Instagram now, it's like increase in views for my business too. So I didn't know how powerful social media could be. Um, but now I start to realize that, and you know, if any of you guys want to talk to me about it or learn more, so like, I'll be happy to like talk to you. Like, I kind of see more of the world than uh, most people that start on social media, and I'm like, man, this is crazy. But I'm happy to share. I don't know all those people that just take knowledge and just run away with it, right? <laughs> but because you guys are here supporting me, I want to support you on your mission too as well. And uh, yeah, so run across America is open invite. So drop in any time want to. Um, I want to change the world to a world better place. So people that come from anywhere and you can do anything. And everything is one take. We're running so fast, everything is one take. So it's not going to be the perfect polished, you know, film or whatever, but that's just reality. It's just life, man. Like, you could have this perfect imagination of whatever you want to do. It's not going to be perfect, 
got to accept it, push forward every day. Don't, don't let it break you. All right, that's it, guys. Yeah. 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 Appreciate it. Yeah, All right. All right, so let's line up over there. Get your water in. I got some water for you guys, too, as well. Boom, right there. <laughs> there you go. We are on our third lap right now. With Matt right here. How's it going guys? Freaking gangster. Woo! Look at this videographer over here. That's why we're here. One million meals. One million meals. Give five dollars, give ten dollars, give fifty dollars. Whatever you can. Eric, how much money are you gonna give? Yep. <laughs> a million dollars. That's from Eric. We hit the goal, guys. <laughs> we hit the goal. No more running. That's it. Yeah, let's <laughs> pack it up. We're doing something new now. That's it. That's it. Exactly. We're raising money to go to space. <laughs> <laughs> we must send one Latino person to space. You'll be the first. All right, Eric. Eric. If you beat me on this lap, I'm going to donate 50 bucks. Yep. There you go. Yeah, you and me race this lap. Let me get that on, on camera, bro. <laughs> you, you heard it here. If Eric beats me in one lap, 50 bucks. Hold on, hold on. You gonna put the weighted vest on so we can be the <laughs> No, I can't do the weighted vest. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> me, me and uh, Matt were talking. So, usually uh, when we do run here, if somebody takes off their shirt, right, and they don't have a six pack, the security actually comes out and like, come and put it on. No, seriously. Let's so, count them. Like, you and like, my other dude who comes to run, he takes off his shirt too. So whoever has a sick pack, they just leave you alone. <laughs> oh, so they, so they, 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 that's good news. They didn't come out and told me to put it back on. Yeah, You're there, awesome. man. Okay. See, back in the day, I used to be drinking those six packs. Now we've changed things up and we carry one on us at all times. <laughs> I love it. All right, so funny thing about today is Zoom has invited me to two events. This is the second one. I'm showing up every time he invites me. Funny thing was I was supposed to be on in San Diego playing golf with some of my friends. What happened was we were supposed to play golf Saturday and Sunday. I was super pumped. They sent me a text message saying, hey guys, we're canceling golf on Sunday because we're all gonna be too hungover. I said, you know what, maybe maybe this isn't the trip for me. Canceled my flight and decided to stay here, keep working on myself. This is my life, this is what I do. I'm a champion, I train like it every single day. Nothing is taking me away from my path, not even travel and golf and friends. I'm here to do what I'm going to do, and I won't stop. Many pounds heavier than him. He's uh, he uh, hustled me. He made it seem like he couldn't run, and then he whooped me. So I donated 50 bucks, and I think I get a shirt for it. So what happened? You got hustled? I got hustled. He, uh, yeah, hustled by the he did hustle. the first lap real slow, and then he creamed me on the, on the second lap. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah. looks more like you, man. Yeah, right on. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh, appreciate you. What a gangster, man. <laughs> Next time I'm going to be here. Yeah, so I don't know if you've seen the FU one, though. That one's like the one. Like, That's the cool one? one. That's the cool one, though. It says FU with pinstripe to yeah. the diamond. You can't, can't read it until you're like, call it quote. Yeah. <laughs> that, that way he just says, uh, please don't, my eyes are up here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Nice meeting you, gentlemen. Yeah, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Right. Thank you. Yeah, take it easy. Yes, sir. Go for it, brother. Oh, there you go. Woo! Grab that side first. Go as hard what happens. Shoot, I have. So. <laughs> I'm actually an extra <laughs> Yeah. So. How you feel, bro? I feel great, man. I'm out here in the zone, Eric, and uh, they pushed me, man. They're like, hey, throw on the 40 pound vest. I've never done that before, so I ran a mile with it. I pushed myself, and it's nothing good vibes out here, man. Yeah. Get around these people, man. He was uh, he was dusting us. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> put a 45 pound vest. I pushed myself, man. What a gangster, Woo. man. Thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fun, they say. Yeah.
You'll sleep well, they yeah. say. You'll sleep real well. <laughs> uh, the best pillow is fatigue. I think someone said that. <laughs> oh, I was wrong. 45. I like to make it not be so bad. <laughs> he said his last actually more. I uh, appreciate it. Hell yeah. Shout out to my boy uh, Eric over here. <laughs> Coming out, putting the miles out. Brought the 45 pound vest. We all got to try it, you know, so. Yeah, I, I got to push myself with it. It's heavy as hell. Matt's here, you know, he usually doesn't run 10 miles, but today he put in 10 miles. And one of the miles he did with a 45 pound vest. And just being around us, you know, like freaking, we all push each other to be better. Um, Brings out that prime little alpha in us, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, what he, what he told me during the run was like, every time he comes to our run, he gets like way more testosterone. <laughs> uh, I didn't know that was uh, That's an a thing, effect, bro. but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to give out a shout out to my man Joel over here. Came out today. Um, you know, it's funny because like, the six pack thing, no one told you to put your shirt back on, right? Nope. So, if you come to this lake and you run with us, you ha and you want to take off your shirt, you got to have a six pack or else uh, security will come out and actually make you put it on. It's actually kind of funny. They're kind of biased. It's hilarious. I love it. Uh, but man, shout out. Thank you for coming out for that supporting me. For sure. It, it works campaign. better when you do it with partners, uh, encouragement, camaraderie. We're out here training day every weekend, just getting it done. Yeah. And thank you for helping me change the world. Man. Of course, man. It's crazy. Biggest shout out today. Today is Matt's day. Like <laughs> he came, he was like, "Hey, I'm, I'm putting seven miles. I don't know if I could actually make that." This fool put in ten miles. One of the miles he did with a 45-pound flak jacket on, and he was dusting me and Eric. So, yep. <laughs> like it was great. I was like, "Man, this guy's fast as a kite," you know, <laughs> even with the 45-pound flak jacket on. Hell yeah. So man, today is his day, man. I yeah. gave it to Matt today. Get around people who are gonna push you, man. Dude, I felt like Spencer running right behind me, too. <laughs> that's what I get, bro. That's instant karma. I was yeah. talking shit about the poor guy. You know, I was like, yeah, so you couldn't catch me. Yeah. You're going to catch my fat ass. And then I tried to catch Matt with a vest on, and I'm like, never mind. I I'm going to shut my mouth down. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, no, appreciate it, Matt. Yeah. yeah. So if you feel undervalued, underrepresented, underappreciated, and you want to get into fitness, we'll be here to help push you to do that first mile. You know, a lot of time, like, when people get into fitness, the first thing is like they're intimidated to go to the gym, intimidated to actually go actually do it. But we're creating a supportive environment here. And so if you come here, we'll push you to do that first mile. And we'll probably push you to do more than that just one mile. So check this out. We're here to make magic happen. We're going to be running across America in 2024. And I help Feeding America donate a million new skills for your needs. So come out, help us, and then help us help a family not go hungry tonight. Boom. I just want to say shout out to Brett, the real OG here. He supported us on our live event yesterday. He came out and supported us on our run today. He's always um, in the background coaching me, helping me, helping Jay, just to be better, you know, man, because, you know, we're younger men, so we're learning from the OG himself. We've been through a lot, a lot of different experiences, ups and downs. So he's giving us the nuggets to help us go to the next level without second. He's that tribal wise man we got. Only give, I could only give this vast knowledge incrementally because if I game them all up in one segment their head will explode <laughs> I would say it's either that or we go cross side so I don't want to see either <laughs> all right, yeah. I you, man. thanks Brett appreciate you. Nah. take care Eric thank you ah. right on thank you. You. nice meeting you right right. nice meeting you all right. yeah. I'm sure I'll see you again all right yeah, yeah. all right y'all let's bounce Spencer,